You can give people $60 million with this mod menu. Today, I'm going to be showcasing the rebound mod menu. If you guys want to pick this menu up, the link is in the description down below. Anyway, let's get into it. Starting off with player options, you got animations, you got walk styles, you got scenarios, you got vision, so filters and stuff like that. Then you got models, you can be a furry. Hold up. Wait a minute, what the fuck? This is very strange. You can be legit a chimp or like a big ass rabbit. Like I've never seen this pet before. This is the first time I've seen this model. So, you know, I guess we're going to be a furry since I can't really go back to my normal character now. Then we can go down to wardrobe and you can add the Rockstar logo or get custom modded outfits. Then you got particle effects. Kind of lags the game a bit. Then you got your movement, boost run. And then you just got normal fast run. And then you got fly mode. Oh shit. Good job we're in god mode. Then you got vegetable mode, so you know, you kinda, you know, a bit retarded. I see it as I'm not a racist. Then you got banana mode. I actually don't know what this does. All right, so apparently you just don't stand up. That's what banana mode is. Then you got your no clip, you got your beast mode. So it's like beast jump, basically. And then you got your normal super jump. And then you got ultra jump. Then you can walk on water, walk on air, you got slow motion. Then you got all your flagging options. Then you got reset flags. And then you got fast respawn, so you know you don't have to wait that long. Then you got ignore players, never wanted, instant entering. What's this? Oh, so you just get into a car instantly. Alright. Then you got no ragdoll, seat bell, easy way out, so that'll just kill yourself. Shrink player, so you can be like tiny. <laughs> what the heck? Then you got clean ped and that's it for self options. Now moving down to weapons. You can give yourself all weapons. You got trigger bot, aim bot, impact. You can, you know, do all like the different. Oh, I need to give myself guns again, don't I? Because I have switched. All right. So if we go over here, you know, you can shoot like grenades and stuff or whatever. Sticky bombs, rail gun, tear gas. Then you got your normal explosive ammo, you got fire ammo, weapons in interiors. Good option that is actually because I don't think that's in 2 take 1 either. Then you got bypass C4 limit, then you got infinite ammo, no reload. Dead eye, so if you're like in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's not like real dead eye, but you know, it's like pretty cool I guess. Uh, then you got cartoon effects. Rapid fire. Suicide gun, so I'm guessing that'll just kill people. Airstrike gun. You got drive it gun, so if you click on a car, you'll just drive it. And then you got your delete gun, defibrillator, teleport gun, gravity, all of these different things here. Then we go on vehicle options. You got your vehicle spawner. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, then you got your custom vehicles, so you know if you want to download some custom vehicles from like five mods or something You can do that. Then you got your fly modes, tuning, acrobatics Then you got your horn boost, speedometer, then you got vehicle god mode, invincibility So if we get in a car here, then it should turn invisible. Oh no, invincibility actually, that says invincibility What an idiot! Then you've got drift mode Auto fix, rainbow paint, so this is quite a cool option, you know. A lot of menus have this, so you know it's like rainbow paint, pretty cool. Then you've got smoky cycle, anti-lock, clone vehicle, fix vehicle, delete vehicle, make it dirty, burn shell, unburn shell, set on ground, and that's about it for vehicle options. Coming down to the spawner, so you got your other vehicle spawner here, and you can spawn like peds, all of that other stuff, go in creator mode. Then you got your teleporting options, and you got your world options for bodyguards, traffic manager, you got all your time and stuff, local time, session weather manager, and then you got sky editor, so you can change the color of the sky. Then you got waypoint options, meteor shower, so holy shit. <laughs> uh, what else is there here? <laughs> Teleport nearby vehicles to sea, that is one big meteorite. That's what she said. Kick nearby driving vehicles, split the t What? Split the C. All right, I've never seen that option before. And there's a whole lot of options. Then you go down to network options, which is probably the reason why you're buying this menu, since you can give people 60 million and stuff like that. Uh, you got your exclusions for your friends and stuff. 
And then you've got all players, so you can teleport everyone to Eclipse Towers or something like that. Give them all ammo, make them bulletproof. Griefing options, you've got your sound options, short beeps, and my game can trash. All right, I've loaded back in now, so you've got all your sound options. Then you've got your disable stuff, so you can disable weapons, vehicles, and interiors. Then you've got your single click, what's this? If you're doing this stuff, then you're just an arsehole. Blame kill all lobby. Oh, jeez. Cage all lobby, send muggers, ragdoll lobby, send airstrikes. Then you got Eclipse Towers trap. I'm guessing that just infinitely sends them to Eclipse Towers. Then you got your karma options of, so say, they kill you, then they'll instantly get killed. Explosion loop, clone crash, water spam, fire spam. You can electrocute them. Hostile traffic, force field, smoke spam. Lag particles, all right. Then you got your purge options. Oh geez, SWAT attack, invincibility. Self invincibility. Commence purge, oh geez. All right, crashing options. Hell of a lot of crashing options with this menu. You got the flipper crash. Looks like the CIA crash has just been added. That wasn't there before I restarted my game, so that's just been added. Then you got vehicle options, try hard vehicles. You can say if they're in an oppressor, just kill their engine, you know, they're in an oppressor, they're griefing people. The one of them players, you know, just just kill them or kick them, crash them from the game. Then you can give people horn boost. So you've got regular, insane, set the speed and stuff. Then you give vehicle god mode, remove vehicle god mode, kick vehicle loop, normal kick vehicle. Launch vehicle, slingshot vehicle, boost vehicle, freeze, unfreeze, rotate, kill engine, revive engine, delete vehicle, got burst tires, fix vehicle, all of this, fully tuned vehicle, all of that stuff there. And then you can spawn people vehicles. Then you've got your remote options, so you've got abusive, and you've got all your fake notifications there. And then you've got your global editing. Now this, this my friends, is quite cool because you can max everyone's stats, give them like 10 million, which is spammable, so you can just keep giving it to them. Or you can give 60 million, which is very cool as well. So, you know, basically you're rich. I wouldn't recommend doing that to your friends as they'll probably get banned, but you know, don't do it at all actually. Don't, don't do it unless you wanna risk your other account or something because they'll probably get banned. Then you got your kick options that I showed before. Send everyone to bad sports lobbies. And then you got clear mental state as well. You got your heist controls. All right, you got your peaceful options. Give everyone max rank and stuff. Cut scenes. Then you got your kick options. A lot of kick options as well, 13 options. Then you got your globals. So give people off the radar, never wanted, stuff like that. You can CEO kick loop them, CEO raid them. Randomize their CEO colors, which is very cool as well. So if we just enable that. And if we go to someone with a CEO, as you can see there, his CEO color keeps changing. It's pretty cool. Then you've got your bounties. Give everyone a bounty. Remove passive mode. You've got your black screen, all that stuff. Then you've got your drop, drop on weapons, health, snacks, armors, ammunition, or RP, or RP, or DLC stuff. What's this? Give them like the cop badge. And then you got DLC stuff as well. Then you got your normal playlist. So if we go on here, you got pretty much all the same options apart from script options here. And you got your disables and you got your chat spammer, stuff like that. Then coming down to spoofing options, you got your rank spoofing, your matchmaking spoofing. So say you can pick whichever server you want to be in basically actually. That's not like spoofing really. Then you got your Rockstar ID. So say when someone clicks on your name, then it'll spoof it to a different Rockstar ID. Then you've got your name, so you can like have bold in your name, so you kind of like bold text when you type and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's just in the actual like lobby screen here, instead of actually in the chat, but I'm not too sure. Then you can like change the color of your name, so you can make it red and stuff like that. Then you've got your crew spoofing, you got your host spoofing, and you've got your IP address, you can change your IP address. Then you've got your job spoofing, miscellaneous stuff, profiles, stuff like that so if you want to save a profile and use it all the time then you got like the normal lobby name spoof you got your joiner so say you want to join i don't know a famous person or something someone who's streaming then you can just enter the username click on join and it'll join them then you've got matchmaking so say you've been in a lobby with other people actually no that's not what that is actually but there is an option where you can find 
who's been in your previous games, say if your game crashed and you want to join them back and you didn't, you know, you, you were friendly with them, they were, you were playing with them, you were having a good time or something, your game crashed, then you can join them back, basically. Then you got your global stuff here, then you got your disable stuff, then you got all your chat options again, stop censorship, alright. Uh, then you got ESP stuff, so obviously this won't work because my game lagged out, but never mind. And then you got all your forced session host stuff. You got your scripts, ESI loader. So say you want to do story mod menus, you can do that. And then you got your Lua scripts as well. If you like download them from maybe the rebound discord server or make your own or something, I don't know. Then you got all your recovery options, set your rank and stuff. You got your money options here. So you got your money loops and stuff. So that'll just keep giving me 180K and then you got 250K. Not as good as the Utopia menu, but still pretty good. Rig slot machine, so you can always win. And then you got your magic crate, 6 million, which will give you 6 million every time you sell uh, your special cargo, I think. Then you got heist editor. Then you got all your unlocks. You got your stats, max all your stats out. Miscellaneous, you can edit your playtime. So if you want to add money, you always want to edit your playtime as well. Otherwise, you'll probably get banned if someone looks at your account. And then you got your KD stuff, kill to death ratio, profile manager. Clothing bypass, say if you want to wear like the cop outfit or something. And then you can remove bad sports. Then you've got all your protections. Hell of a lot of protections here. I'm not going to go through all of them since it would take me ages. But hell of a lot of protections you can do here. Say if you've got the employee detection. Say if like a Rockstar employee joins your game. And then you can just like bail the session. Or like crash them. I'm not sure if that crashes them or you but... I should hope it crashes you instead, otherwise you're probably going to get banned if you do that. And you've got all these other protections here as well. Coming down to miscellaneous, you can drive the train. Spawn a train, drive train. Alright, looks like I'm not near a train so it won't work. And you've got your hood editor, you've got your free cam, so say you want to make a thumbnail. Alright. And then you've got attack free cam, what's this? Ah, that's like the little arrow thing I guess. Developer mode got low spec mode <laughs> pretty cool restart the graphics if there's any bugs or something display fps i'm only getting 80 fps right now really and then you can skip cutscene can you i'm not sure if you can like skip the prologue because that is really annoying say if you're in like multiple accounts you got mouse support so if you click x then you can use the mouse instead. And you've got all your hotkeys here and everything. You've got your login options, header options. Basically, you can just change everything in the menu that you want to change. Anyway, guys, yeah, that is about it for this menu. Probably the best thing I would say is the remote options and the money options. Since this loop is undetected, it's not as good as the Utopia menu, but it's still pretty decent. If you guys want to buy this menu, the link will be in the description down below. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Peace.